Honorable judges and my dear friends, morality and abortion, well, I don't want to speak if I advocate for abortion or not. What I want to is to speak against the role of morality in abortion. I feel morality is way too subjective to decide on a sensitive issue as abortion. And often morality is shaped by one's religious beliefs, culture and societal norms. Sadly, the imperfect world we live in is still home to venomous amounts of social stigma with regards to premarital or teenage sex or the differently abled. The society also chose to stigmatize rape victims and favor boys over girls in the form of female feticide. I feel abortions wouldn't be as alarmingly high as it is today if our society chose to normalize all this and provide fair opportunities. I also condemn the use of abor abortion as a contraceptive method. They already had a choice to make when going through an unprotected sex and there shouldn't be another window to make a choice regarding the baby as the right to life or the marvel of life should be appreciated more than the right to choose. Even when I don't want abortion to be the new normal, but since the morale of the society has already imposed mental constraints on victimized women, there is a need for an individualized approach and it is important to open a window for selective abortion in dire circumstances to protect the life and overall health of such women. Thus, it is important to move gradually from morality to something more progressive like rationality. Thank you. The general consensus of equating abortion to murder is a misconception because when you kill a man, you kill his future. But when you abort an unborn fetus, for obvious reasons that doesn't make it socially acceptable, we are in fact saving it from a likely future of insecurity. Last year in Alabama, a draconian bill was passed banning abortions even in cases of rapes and punishing the doctors involved with 99 years of jail. And the startling fact was that this bill was passed by a hugely male-dominated Senate, showing how strong patriarchy is even now, and some very dirty politics were at play too. And recently, in Tennessee, yet another bill was passed, making it illegal to abort a child after the fetal heartbeat starts showing, which is at around six weeks, when the lady wouldn't even have identified herself to be pregnant. The state, they call it their responsibility to protect the rights of the unborn, who they consider the most vulnerable. But mind you, there is none more vulnerable than the lady carrying the unborn. And no government shall have a greater say over a lady's uterus and its contents than herself. In India, the recent amendment brought to the MTP Act, though limited, is a progressive step in the forward direction. Lastly, let me put this to you. If our sex education has made OCPs and condoms the new normal, then what's the big deal in accepting abortions too, if a woman simply wants it?